I mean, think about it. Think about it. That's, I mean, that's kind of cool. That's what I love about comedy. I can tell you about my culture, and you can relate to it, or you can't relate to it. That's fine. But at least you get to hear about my, my life, my story. You get to see her. Oh, God damn. You ever notice that Filipinos, we love black people. We love black culture. You don't have to explain anything to us. We just get it. It's almost like we're the same. The food, have you seen our food? It's like soul food. We have so much soul. They sing, it's crazy. I think it's that Spanish that's in us. The Spanish that's in us, that's why. And you know when there's Mexicans, You know when there's Mexicans, out of all the Latinos, Mexicans are very, they're proud people, but, but they identify with Filipinos so much because of that Spanish blood that we have. And that's why they come to my shows, because they identify, they're like, what the fuck, they're just like us. <laughs> and they're in here, that's when you know there's Mexicans in there. Once I say Mexicans, they start whistling. And that's when you know there's Mexicans in here. Because no one whistles better than Mexicans. Close your eyes, it's like you're in a bird sanctuary. So beautiful. No one whistles like that. Each one distinct. <laughs> their kids know that whistle. They can lose their kids in the mall and just whistle. <laughs> Papa? Papa? <laughs> Papa? 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 <laughs> Papa? I just want you to know, Mexicans, this is how similar we are. When the Spanish left the Philippines, you left everything there. That's why we're the same. You know what I mean? That's why we act the same. They left everything there. Their culture is just like our culture. They do everything. You guys work hard, we work hard. Fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> Mariachi, karaoke. Same shit. No one really wants to hear it. But even our words are the same. Because when you left, you left your fucking words there. And we took them. You left them there, so we fucking took them. But well, we changed it. We turned your curse words into desserts. So know that. I want every Mexican to know that. If you have a Filipino coworker, just know we took your curse words and turned them into desserts. So don't get mad if that little tiny Filipino lady comes to the... <laughs> comes to work one day and walks into the break room with a tray of desserts and walks up to you and goes, put this in your mouth, puto. <laughs> Don't get mad. What the fuck did you call me? Because I get it. In your language, puto means bitch. But in our language, it's a delicious dessert with coconut on it. And she just wants you to put it in your mouth. Puto.